Poppy Ortiz, Ju Solo, the Pink Flamingo Network is presenting the Extraction Movie Review. Let's ride. <laughs> First off, I came in in this movie with low expectations. Yeah. I'm not. I wasn't really a real big fan of uh, the Russo brothers' writing um, when it comes to movies outside of the Marvel universe. This one worked. Like Twenty One Bridges, eh? It wasn't. Hmm. Let's close all the bridges. Yeah, you told, me, you told me not to watch that. Manhattan. You told me not it's to watch not, that. No, I mean it, it just wasn't for me. But this one, it was really good. And Chris Hemsworth, uh, he came out and um, he surprised me. Definitely separated himself. From his Thor character. Fight sequences was amazing. Sam Hargrove brought it when it came to that. And um, like I said, the Rooster Brothers definitely surprised me with their writing. Not only did it have some of the best uh, fight sequences of the year so far, but there was a little heart to it. I think they, they did a better job than I expected. So I was very, I was very pleased with the movie. Yeah, overall I enjoyed the movie. I thought it was definitely a solid movie. I went into it with good expectations just because we watched the fight scenes last week yes, and we were able to react reaction. to it. Check so, it out on YouTube. For sure. It gave me like this. I'm like, all right, it's some good, uh, some good, definitely some good action in there. And then he, he kind of gave me the info of, listen, there's some, you know, some deeper stuff into it. So going into watching it, definitely enjoyed it. I thought the kid Ovi did a great job throughout the whole time, entire movie. He displayed some great emotion and stuff like that. Um, the action scenes were phenomenal. And my favorite part about the movie is the way the action scenes were actually shot. Everything is handheld, so it's like you're going through the action with them, especially when like they're jumping the roofs and stuff. So like the characters are jump the roof, and then the cameraman, you see them jumping the roof with it. So it literally like you're in the action, they put you in there. So I thought they did some Venice stuff with that. I thought the Russo brothers did a great job writing it. Sam Hargrove did a great job directing. Overall, solid movie. Yeah, um, a big thing with this movie for me were the characters. They um, they actually brought some emotion with them. Chris Hemsworth character Tyler actually is kind of it's teased throughout the whole movie that he's lost a son and that really brings his character to life in a way um you can see his depression you can see his bad drinking habits um and his it, you know it leads to bad impulsive decisions that mm -hmm. he makes but for his l line of work as a mercenary it works out and it gives you an understanding of why he's trying to help this kid out too especially after What's the, that, that point where you're just like, I can leave this kid right here and just dip out by myself right now? Yeah, he had, a, he had a big opportunity to, to leave the kid. For sure. And But he didn't. Another character that I really liked was uh, Saju. Saju, you know, man. He, it's kind of a curveball with him because, you know, you don't really know. You, you He's supposed to help bring back this drug lord's son back to him. And he's threatened with his own son's life if he doesn't bring back the drug lord's son. So, you know, you kind of... Through halfway during the movie, you don't know exactly what his purpose is to go help, mm -hmm. but you know he has to do something extra, and you see him, him and Tyler are literally battling the kid, the same purpose, just one wants money, and the other one just wants the safety of his son. With Ovi in the middle, like you said, his yeah. character, he brought a lot of emotion. I give him an A plus with this movie because he, he really brought the emotion in this movie from being frightened to yeah. being sad. And him and Tyler's relationship by the end of the movie, it's a pretty solid relationship. And yeah, you sure. kind of feel for them after. Yeah. I thought he did a great job in like the action sequences too. Like when they're chasing him down and running around. It's hard, especially for a kid. I give it to him. Did yeah. Job. yeah, those fight sequences were crazy. Yeah, good job. I mean, they literally almost had, a, I think it was about a 12-minute sequence where they went straight from the jungle fighting all the way to them escaping in the city. Yeah. And it was a great time. Um, you get a couple of those. And the way they filmed it, it's... Just like Winter Soldier or uh, Civil War type uh, choreography um, via Sam Hargrove. And the, the Russo brothers also writ, wrote and produced this. So you know they're going to bring that. Yeah, any other any other moments that you liked? or any? I, I, I like that uh, they didn't start off the movie. Like the movie didn't drag on in the beginning. We're like we're waiting to get to that point. Like it was quick. They set up, they set up each character. We know all right, Tyler, you know, has a drinking problem. He's popping pills and there's something going on with him deeper. This guy, if you don't get if you don't get this kid, get my son back. I'm killing your family and killing your son, and then boom, we're jumping right into the action. Like it didn't take a long to build up, and like yeah. a lot of movies have that problem where like, all right, I'm just getting bored. You're trying to set up all this stuff about shit I don't care about. You know, I did like the fact that it took place in India. Um, you really don't see too many movies here in the states that bring that country alive, and I thought they did a pretty good job of making you feel like you were in that country and going through what they're going through. Yeah, and giving like opportunities to those people that. Live there too. Like, majority of the cast is all 
people from there. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, exactly. I thought that was really dope. Yeah, they dope. did a great job. I mean, I, even the kids that were in there, the majority of the other kids yeah. that were, you know, kind of baby soldiers, um, they did a pretty good job. I mean, there's a, a specific fight scene with Chris Hemsworth um, fighting off these little kids. And, you know, he does hit them, but as <laughs> minimally as possible. <laughs> that actually was one of my favorite parts of the movie because he was just jabbing these kids in the chest. Just, boom! <laughs> it was really funny. And Definitely just, check that out. Yeah, and they set up the kids pretty well too. I'm not gonna lie because when I first saw him when he's t- tossing you know babies off the, the kid off the roof and they stuff toss like that. a kid off the roof. Yeah, they, th- they toss him off the roof. I didn't think we were gonna see those kids again, so there was. It was nice that they built him up and kind of yeah, set him was, up. Yeah, there was good character development throughout the movie. Yeah. And good emotion throughout the movie. Not just, um, like, I, I saw some reviews that said it was, uh, that a lot of the action didn't have a purpose. It was just cause. And, yeah, you do have some extreme parts with the action, but overall, I mean, it's for a purpose. He's literally trying to save this kid's life. Not just because he wants to do the right thing, because it hits home for a reason. And there's multiple people trying to do that and multiple people trying to kill him for a reason. And I thought that was kind of low for people to say that there was really, you know, that the action was for no purpose when it actually did have a purpose and some heart to the whole movie. For sure. And it goes back to like setting up the movie in the beginning. Like we get why this is, we're about to go into some hardcore action. Like, you know, Mm -hmm. people's lives are at stake and we're, you know, I'm ready for it. It's just an action movie. It's an army action movie. Exactly. Like, let's go for it. You know what I'm saying? I'm with it. For sure. And ending explain. We'll go right into that now. I mean, as you know, he gets shot by the kid with the two fingers. Yeah. Um, at the end, when you think he's just going to make it out, did he die? Don't, 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 don't. Yeah, we don't know. We don't know. It seems like it. Yeah, and then Saju dying, that also kind of messed me up in the end. And uh, yeah, we don't know if Tyler's dead or not. Uh you know, we when uh, Ovi, at the end of the movie, when he comes out of the water, we kind of see this blurry figure in the back that looks like Tyler, and it could be Tyler, and they're kind of trying to lead you on that it might be Tyler, but we don't know, you know, and, you know, until next time, we, we're not sure. Yeah, and that's the thing, like, yeah, he took a pretty bad blow to the neck, but, you know, this movie doesn't really go on the side of reality, 100%. I yeah. mean, not many people can survive the things that he was surviving or get away with the things he was getting and away with. let's be honest, with. by the time he got shot in the neck, he could have been dead with all the other wounds that Exactly, he had, right? <laughs> you know it definitely saying? brings that John Wickish type of sure. uh, immortality to it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I thought it was kind of um, interesting how when he the kid was at the bottom of the pool, he was also having visions as well. Oh, I forgot about was that. Was it the same vision that Remember, he was having? In the beginning of the movie, that was actually, that, that's a good thing right? you brought up. In the beginning of the movie, Tyler's in the water and he's doing kind of the same thing that Obi's doing. I like that. That was actually good that story was cool. writing. That's good writing. And I think, you know, when he, he rises and you see, you think we think we see Tyler in the background. Yeah. We're not sure, but I mean, now that they have signed on for Extraction 2, we're almost certain that is Tyler in the background, unless they decide to go with another character, which, well, we'll see, but I want Chris back. But I don't know. If you really want me to unpack that, I think he's alive and he's checking up on the kid and that's their way of segueing into an extraction too um like i said they don't really go on the caution of reality when it comes to what you can survive from yeah. i mean S- saju got hit by a car about three or four or five times yeah and he got and up all he had was like a broken nose <laughs> yeah, for sure and that was crazy let's not even go on there because he just like Whoa! and all the blood went into the, that was the sink that was nasty yeah. Yeah. yeah but you gotta do what you gotta do yeah but at the end so like do you do you actually think he's alive I do think he's alive for sure, and I know that you brought up before the cameras turned on that um, you don't think that Ovi will be in part two, right? I don't think Ovi's gonna be in new, part two. New story yeah, that's into that's it. a good point to bring up. I mm-hmm. think that was just like their segue. Like I said, I think um, you had to. It's almost like he's checking up on Ovi. Um, yeah. And I think the movie's gonna go on another mission, another mercenary mission with with his girl. Which I think that's how it should be because how many people has he saved before this movie? You know what I'm saying? Exactly. He's been a mercenary for a while so I'm sure it's, you know, Maybe it goes a little cool. bit uh, uh, equalizer slash John Wickish type thing where he's doing the right thing. Yeah, for sure. For people, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Um, or it could just be a mission on maybe he's going to heal from his kid in a way where he's going after their killers or something of that nature. I don't know. We really don't be, get the story. Maybe we get that backstory in this movie. That would actually be a good idea. Yeah, you tell right? all of his backstory, get some badass stuff, and then more heartfelt stuff because, you know, exactly. he's going out for revenge for his sons, you know. Exactly, yeah. exactly. That'd be a good sequel for sure. But overall, I think Chris Hemsworth definitely separated himself from yeah. all his other movie roles and showed the world that he can lead an action movie by himself without the Disney symbol behind him. Yeah, I'll stop calling you Thor. You're Chris from now on. I got you, bro. <laughs> and I'm actually going to rate the movie at a 7 out of 10. I'm going to go 7 out of 10, too. 
Guys, just enjoy a good action movie. You don't have to look into deep into every single movie all the time. Every movie's not made for that. Exactly. But overall, yeah. Like, and there is some good heartfelt stuff that you can attach yourself to. Just have a good time. Exactly what he said, guys. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Oh, yeah. He wants to yeah, bring something. my man wants to. So we were thinking about, you know, who does Saju look like? Because, you know, I was like, he looks like Steven Seagal. He's like, no, he looks like some 80s, you know, action guy. Not, and, and, and a 90s, like, yeah, action villain. For sure. That's what I, I couldn't get. <laughs> And then he brings up the guy from Kindergarten Cop, the bad guy from Kindergarten Cop, and yo, fuck my life up. I tell you that shit. It looks just like him. It looks if just like him. You guys get him. a chance. Look right up here. Kindergarten right, Cop. Wait, wait. And right here. Yes. Looks like yes. Jesus. Tell me not, guys. It, tell me he doesn't look like him. Like, come Watch on. the movie Kindergarten Cop. Talk. It's amazing. Oh, man. All right, guys. Until next time, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you.